Okay guys, so the sumo squat. Great exercise belonging in the squat variation category. This can be done with a barbell goblet squat. Doesn't really matter the piece of equipment, it's more to do with the kinematics of your technique and the position in which you place your feet. The sumo stance, as is in the sumo deadlift, requires a wide foot position and a little bit more external rotation at the hips, so feet pointing out a little bit more than usual. So you want to unrack the bar, as shown in the video, the same way you would in a normal squat. So if you haven't already, I would strongly recommend that you watch the bat squat tutorial for that. Step out into your sumo stance position, which for most people is anywhere between 1.5 to 2 times their shoulder width, or whatever is most comfortable in the wider stance. In the sumo squat position, we tend to find that people can stay a little bit more upright in their trunk. And again, this will recruit a little bit more of the adductors to help stabilise the hips. You really want to focus on driving your knees out over your toes on this one. The wider stance position can sometimes cause people to collapse into knee valgus a little bit more or when the knees cave in. So really focus on driving the knees out, gaining that stretch in the glutes and the adductors as you descend. Again, being in the wider stance position means you probably won't be able to hit the same level of depth. So we're still focusing on control and we're trying to achieve parallel or below. But again, it's not at the risk or at the sacrifice of core stability. So make sure that you're keeping tension throughout your hips and abs throughout the course of the whole rep. Once you reach the bottom position, drive back up and again, focus on stability in the wide stance position.